G'day, Jimmy from Madewell Products. Today on the jib, we have got the Husqvarna CRT 60X 74 horsepower riding trail. This machine here is sort of for the people out there who, you know, I mean, everyone's got a 46 and a 36 to pan and finish with, but I think a lot of people are elevating their floors and getting higher requirements for FL numbers, FF, sorry, uh, with a ride on trail. Basically what that means is how flat that slab is once it's been finished. You, you know, a lot of slabs, a finish, but there's ways in them that you can't uh, see. But there's a lot of F-min jobs going on at the moment uh, with, with a, a specific requirements of high, higher numbers than your, your normal slab. The only way you sort of can achieve that sort of stuff is using a, a, a big 60-inch machine. You can do it with 46s, but you're never going to get the same result as one of these. The reasons for that is one is the weight, two is your, 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 your pan width, your blades, you're covering a lot more ground and you're always going to get a flatter floor. It's the top of the range in the Husqvarna range in ride on trails, the biggest and probably the baddest one that they've got. Uh, you cover a lot of ground with these things. Uh, 1.2 tonne in weight. I'll go through some features of the machine. Uh, it's a fully hydraulic machine, so there's no mechanical components on this machine. So it runs off a hydraulic pump, which uh, obviously feeds, feeds your hydraulic fluid to the rotor motors. Uh, everything's hydraulic, the pitch is hydraulic. Uh, you've got hydraulic wheels, you know, whenever you need to change your um, blades or pans, you don't have to wor worry about uh, dolly wheels. So basically, once the machine's running at a hit of a switch, the machine elevates itself up. You can then safely put some pans underneath it and obviously change blades if, uh, if necessary. Everyone's got a different uh, riding style. Some people like the machine to be more sensitive, some people don't. I personally like it more sensitive because I like to be able to, and being a big machine, it's nice to be able to turn turn your corners when you're panning or finishing a bit quicker than standard. But some people like the opposite, so it's a, it's a personal choice, but it gives you the ability to hit a switch on the joystick and be able to get more sensitivity and less sensitivity, which is a great feature as well, which I don't think there's any other 60s out there that have got that feature. Also, you've got, uh, obviously you've got your inbuilt spray system, you've got your spray jets at the front, LED lights all around the machine. Um, it's powered by a 74 horsepower Kohler engine, turbocharged. So you've got one, you've got plenty of power, plenty of torque to pan. Um, you won't lose any RPM with the machine. Uh, you've got a, an easy access door here, which you can uh, check your hydraulic fluid, check your engine oil, check all the, your, your fluids with the machine. Another cool feature is cruise control. So basically when you're, instead of having to keep your foot on this accelerator here, uh, you can pick your RPM that you want to be panning with, whether it be high or low. Um, and then obviously um, you hit a switch and it'll hold that accelerator like a car, like the same sort of uh, concept of cruise control. So you can let go of the accelerator, you can rest your legs and the machine does all the work. Onboard diagnostics machine, uh, computer, basically gives you real time data, temperature, RPM, fuel. Uh, so that's a, that's a really good feature to have as well. Also with the Husqvarna's you've got all, pretty much all the Husqvarna range except for the 36's you've got forklift lifting point. So basically being, a, being at 1.2 ton, obviously you've got to have one, you've got to have the right chains, right, right equipment, plant and equipment to lift the machine. Uh, but the beauty about this, if you've got a, a two and a half ton or two ton forklift, you can just put your fork, your tines straight in there and lift the machine and move it on and off slabs as well. A great combination obviously uh, with using the 60 inch machine is do all your padding with this machine and then I'd be following um, with a 46 inch um, with either combos or finishing blades, you could be running two. Just keep in mind, you're gonna cover a lot of surface with this machine. So you've gotta be able to keep up with it with whatever you're following it with. So that's, that's a bit of a wrap up on the 60X riding trail today. Like I said, it's, it's packed full of features. It's an awesome machine. This machine here is our demo machine. So if you guys are really keen in looking at a 60X demo, please get in contact with me. This one's available for demonstration purposes.